Thank you very much for joining us in this experiment. Today should be very entertaining. Um, it could well verge on disaster at times, but we are here with a spirit of adventure to select 12 suckers that will stand in Union Square uh, in September. We're doing it because, as I'm sure you all know, in Leviticus 23, 42, I believe, uh, we are commanded you will dwell in booths for seven days, um, not since. The collective who came together to write the Bible uh, wrote that. Have so many people talked about suckers, probably, as we are about to do today. The original sucker was described in the Bible, but like anything Jewish, no sooner had somebody built one than there was a humongous argument about what one of these things should look like, how tall it can be, what its uh, overhead condition must look like, etc., 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 how many walls. Uh, so these rules include the roof can't be made out of food. The roof can't be made out of utensils or anything that's conventionally functional when it's not part of a sukkah. At night, you have to be able to see the stars through the sukkah. The really key element is that the roof material must be called, uh, made out of something called schach, organic material that once grew in the ground and has been disconnected from the ground. That's really the, the, the critical ingredient. And then the other really crucial requirement is that one have experienced more shade than sunshine during the day. We're here to explore what can be done within those requirements. This festival of Sukkot, from which the Sukkah gets its name, was once the most dominant festival, or one of the most dominant festivals in the Jewish calendar. It has fallen. And so the thing that's interesting is to take this festival, dust it off in creative, thoughtful ways, and see what of its meaning, what of its uh, original kind of ritual power can kind of shine forward. Your charge as jurors is to evaluate these structures on conceptual and aesthetic grounds, um, and their adherence to a set of rules that we laid out in the design brief, which are actually the ancient Talmudic rules of the sukkah, uh, sort of the oldest building code. I ask you guys to keep in mind that these structures realistically have to be built. They have to be built on a relatively short amount of time, in a short amount of time. And we're gonna have an offsite prefab location. Uh, they're, they're then gonna be trucked in Union Square and installed within seven hours. And uh, finally, I'd like you to think of yourselves as curators, not picking the 12 best circuits, but as picking the one best circuit city.